Hi, my name is Kai from Nevigo, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the new features in Odyssey Draft 2.4. Let's begin with flow simulation. In the 2.2 version, we have introduced the modeling of flow logic using variables and conditions. But Odyssey Draft has only been the authoring tool. It couldn't actually evaluate the logic or have something like a runtime game state to track variable states. With the 2.4 update, Odyssey Draft now has its own execution engine running under the hood. It's invisible, but it boots up when you play through the flow, actually simulates the logic and reports back to the design tool. So Odyssey Draft 2.4 becomes your powerful story flow prototyping environment. In the flow editor, you can use variables and conditions to control the flow of the story. While you're playing through the flow in this presentation view, you can see the current values of your variables. Now, as we play through the flow, you can see how the values are changing. And now we are here on this hub, Francis' reaction, and we get a positive response because we were nice to her. I'll now switch to analysis mode, and we can see that Odyssey Draft was hiding two other options because their conditions aren't fulfilled. The next big bunch of improvements has been made to the location editor. The previous iteration of the location editor was limited to primitive shapes, links, paths and spots in front of a background picture. We have now expanded that significantly. Add as many image layers as you want. Add text to your locations. Let elements point at a spot on the map using anchors. Customize the styling of all elements and transform them conveniently. Our dungeon location here still looks pretty empty. Let's build an altar here. Creatures have been sacrificed here, so we need some blood. A ritual knife, a pile of bones and some candles. Transformation became much more convenient. You can now easily scale, rotate or flip selected location objects. In this 2D platformer example, I'll add a text field here and communicate my design idea. That's it for this video. A link to a full list of improvements and fixes can be found in the description below. Enjoy the new features and all the best for your projects!